names in tennis have thrown their support behind the under siege Leighton Hewitt speaking out at the Koo Yong ahead of the Amy Classic. Roger Federer and Marit Safin believe the Australian is still a huge threat to the best in the world despite his recent troubles. As always, the Amy Classic has attracted the world's best to Koo Yong, headlined by world number one Roger Federer and last year's winner Andy Roddick. In the past, the absence of Leighton Hewitt at such an event may have disappointed organisers, but now he's slipped out of the elite company. His Australian Open campaign has been thrown into chaos due to a calf injury and a change of coach, but no one is prepared to write off the two-time Grand Slam winner just yet. I mean, if he's healthy, obviously, I mean, that's my first concern. I hope he's going to be ready for, in time for the Open and... Um, I think if he walks on court, you know, the, the first day for him, I think he's definitely going to be tough to beat and uh, a contender for the title, yes. He has a lot of experience. He won uh, two Grand Slams and uh, he's been in the final. He beat all of us uh, a couple of times, each one of us. So he's definitely one of the favorites for if he, uh, if he can uh, get over there with the injury. Federer's preparation for a tilt to the third Australian Open crown has been smoother, albeit different. He chose to bypass the year's opening event in Doha after his gruelling schedule last year. I played 97 matches last year, so I didn't want to do too much in the, in the first place, and uh, I thought that was the better and better thing to do this year. After winning every Grand Slam in 2006, minus the French Open, a realistic goal for the Swiss star appears to be the Grand Slam this year, but he doesn't see it this way. I know in a few weeks' time if that's uh, a goal I can give myself or not, but that's usually not what I aim for in a season. I mean, I'm, I'm happy if I win maybe one slam, two slams is great, and uh, you know, so um, you can't win all the time, you know. So I just hope that I can keep it up for another couple of years. One man who may be capable of challenging Federer in 2007 is Marat Safin. The Russian missed the Australian summer last year due to a knee injury, but he's back to full fitness and confidence after a strong showing at the end of. 2006, which included being part of Russia's successful Davis Cup team. Safin credits much of his turnaround to coach Alexander Volkov, who lured onto the tour from Moscow last year. He had nothing to do in Moscow, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I offered him uh, just a uh, few trips, a little bit of cash, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and it worked, you know, full hospitality. <laughs> Roddick is also confident his new coach, Jimmy Connors, has him ready again to challenge for a Grand Slam title. It's, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's, uh, it's nice to wake up in the morning and go have, a, go have a hit with one of your idols on a daily basis. That's a, that's a cool feeling and I don't know if the, uh, the novelty of that will, uh, will wear off anytime soon. Also competing at Kuyong is Tommy Haas, Ivan Lubicic, David Nelbandian, Radek Stepanek and British young gun Andy Murray. I got told that the last or 10 of the last 12 winners of the Australian Open have all, have all played here so you know it, it can't get any better than that so I feel, I feel like I've prepared pretty well. Nelbandian has been troubled by a knee injury of late but he moved well on centre court. Julian DeStoop, Fox Sports News.